This is the furry bait section. It's the area for those strange anthropomorphic animal creatures you'd be relentlessly teased for crushing on, like lion -O and Chitara. These two are the main characters of the Thundercats series. They're... They're, uh, they're big buff cats. Look, what happened here was a disaster, but we don't blame the crew behind the show. They could have never known their creation would make so many impressionable fans develop an attraction to mutant felines, right? The Beast, from a certain tale as old as time, is next. To the amateur eye, Beauty and the Beast is a story that, albeit very sweet, isn't exactly realistic. I mean, nobody actually wants to hook up with a gigantic furry creature, right? Well, think again, because there are, in fact, some people out there who like the Beast's relationship process. Hey, the guy did have a little redemption arc, and we all know working on yourself is attractive, but but I don't know, man. Why pick the beast when Shrek is literally right there? I, I mean, there he is. Now we travel to outer space to talk about Biker Mice from Mars, aka Vinny, Moto, and Throttle. Man, why are almost all the sexualized male cartoon characters furries? Oh, well, they're a trio of jacked mice who ride motorcycles and protect the world from evil cats. Actually, if I had a nickel for every time I saw buff animated mice in the past 24 hours, I'd have two nickels. Next, we return to Warner Bros. to talk about Minerva Mink from Animaniacs. With a very similar build to Hello Nurse, it's not hard to see why some fans might have crushed on her growing up. But the main difference is, of course, that she's a mink. We won't go into detail on how fondly she's remembered, but we'll just tell you that we literally just googled her name to find a photo for reference and immediately regretted doing so. Like, the Lorax X Onesler thing was totally tame in comparison. Just, just, just trust me. Oh, speaking of unusual Google results, next we have Gadget Hack Wrench. She's a good friend and occasional love interest to Chip and Dale with a more cutesy design than Minerva. So why is she higher then? Well, when we googled this character, we discovered not an accidental batch of horrid fan creations. We learned our lesson. No, 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 no. All we saw was the little detail that there's a Russian cult called Gadgetology that worships her. And no, we're not joking. There's like, there are several video essays on it. Go check them out. And remember, your mental state could definitely be worse. All right, you all knew this one was coming. Enter Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Before she got a major role as a supporting character in the Looney Tunes show, Lola was one of the Toon Squad's players, but nobody watching the movie was paying much attention to her skills, especially not bugs. Lola is synonymous with the uh, Sexual Awakening cartoon characters group. She was so beloved as she was that her redesign in the second movie actually pissed a lot of people off. What's worse is that you'd rarely have any explanation for it because what were they gonna say? Oh man, I wish this rabbit had bigger boobs. I miss when the talking back Basketball rabbit had a big butt. It was so nostalgic. They're carting you off to a mental hospital if you say these things out loud for too long. You can think them, just don't say them. At this point, we're moving further and further away from anthropomorphism and into full-on animal territory, starting with the Zootopia Tiger Dancers. Apparently, Tony the Tiger accidentally made some clones of himself. On top of having some sweet moves, the tigers from Zootopia have godlike physique, which the movie really enjoys showing off. Zootopia's fandom had a lot of weird stuff going on, but in terms of objectifying characters, we can't say anyone stands out more than these guys, even with how minor they are in the movie. Next is, well, oh, you're kidding me, right? Cleo from Pinocchio? Dude. Dude, that's a fish. I mean, I guess I made the eyes look pretty. It's almost unsettling though. Like who looked at this and was like, God, that makes me even wetter than that fish bowl. Jeez, are we done with the furry stuff yet? Well, I guess in this case, scaly, but oh, okay, no, there's one more. The last character in this category is Puss in Boots' ride or die, Kitty Soft Paws. I guess if it's got four legs and paws, someone's got a crush on it. Most of them we can defend to some extent, but uh, yeah, this is a cat. Like not even anthropomorphic really, it's just a freaking cat. You'd hope that that's as bad as it gets, huh? You'd think so, wouldn't you? 